Hello and welcome to this talk here in Special Liberia English from the news group they call the Stage Media. The short name for this group here they call it TSM. TSM is that news group that want to help you all the time to know all the stories that you hear, that come or that you read, whether they true or they lie. That's the kind of work that TSM is doing. My name is Seo Watusin, your TSM Special English Friend. Today we got plenty of story here that we want to talk to you about. Whether this story that what what we're going to talk to you about, whether that lie or that true, because that fact that we can check. So let's start. The first one we're going to talk about is called census. The censor is that process by which the government in a country can count all the people that are there so they will know how many people in that country. That way, it will help the government to make plans for development and carry development to where people are. So in Liberia here, we get a government office that can do this one here. They call the listes. Because the county people here, it started in only time and it good for every country. The big law board that we get here, portion 39, it get the law maker that power to put the sensor here down every 10 years. The last one was in 2008. So from 2008 to 2018, that 10 years, so the sensor was supposed to happen. But that time something happened. What happened was the government of Liberia was finished with voting and so it was changing. There was new government was coming. So the new government got in, in power and then, then they say they were not having money to do the censor here. So they started getting the censor business backward and forward, argument inside. But while everybody was preparing for the censor here, the people, international people helping with money, government putting money inside, some other thing fall down inside. And that thing was the thing they call corruption. The office that is that can fall with corruption, they call the Liberia Anti-Corruption Agency, LACC. They went to check in there and find out that the plenty of corruption was there for true. So two were the people that were on it, especially one of them was by now was the acting B person for what the caretaker B person for the Lizzy, Mr. Wilmot Smith and his number two big person, Mr. Alexander Williams. The LACC report found that they were doing corruption for true. So the president decided to fire these two people. Then now, it was time for the censor to go on. Still no correct time for the people to set for the censor to start. But finally, the government set November 2022 to do the censor here. While this was going on, even said the law making house put gave order to the censor people to say you'll start counting in 2022 year you're more carry the censor or even if it's uh, up to March 2023 because the censor year is good. One of the things that the censor can do beside when the government know how many in the country it can also make it for the law making house to put new district then down where we'll get some representative will come from to go in the law maker house. So to be able to do this one here, the result from the census supposed to come out. But the result, not everything that came out, the one that came outside, they say that the provincial result, meaning and not the whole result. So the one that we get, the poor outside, that more, more than 5 million people, 5.2 million people in Liberia here. The people who do the census, the the legislators and the United Nations office, they call UNFPA, that do the censor here, they say they're still putting things together, and that by June this year, that the time, they will put the whole result outside. So with that one, if to say the censor result were going to be ready, the lawmaker were going to put, put some more district down so there will be some more representative to go in the house. But since it is like that and it's not ready yet, and the time of the voting is here now, where people sort of put their name down from, from March, it is not possible for the lawmaker then to make new district. So this is where we stand with the issue of the censor. Here is one other story that we want to talk to you about. One day, the government office that is on learning matter, what they call the National Commission on Higher Education, 
that one it means that i've got my office that is looking after the bb school then what they call university or college so long in a high school but a modern high school that our office can look at it the office came up and put one other outside to say the big person for any college what they call the president of the university that person will have be the degree that bigger than all the other degree than what they call phd you won't get it you not get it then you cannot be president for any university beside that one they get the other person who can be next to the president for the college or the university they call the person a vice president for academic affairs they also say that person will be able to get a big degree just like the person before they will be able to run the college or the university so now the people put this other year outside then one fellow they call martin collie martin collie now read internet and say as soon as the book the other year outside then the president, the BB people for two schools, two B schools in Morocco here, the AME University on Camp Johnson Road, and then the other one, they call also the AME Zion University on Benson Street. The one on Camp Johnson Road, the big person for it are Avin Atta, and the one on Benson Street, the big person for it are the Benjamin Latte. Then Martin Collin went to work and write on the paper, he said, Say he the one that can be exposing people who not get correct degree, what they call fake degree, and he say Ben Latte and, and Avin Atta, the not the people who not get real PhD or B degree, but they can call them doctor. So he say as soon as the government office they call the commission put that order also, the two president then resign, they lead the job because they know where for it that. When my take only be talking, it catch them. So the story started going around. TSM decided to check. But when TSM went to check, they found out that the thing where Martin Colley talked to say that two people, Avin Atta and Ben Latte, they lead their job because of this thing that he do. It is not true. The two people are still on their job running their school. Here is one more story that we want to talk to you about. It concerning the old number two big person of Liberia, Omer Joe Boakai, and one more politician they call Alexander Cummings. One time, Omer Joe Boakai left here and went to America. And Mr. Alexander Cummings was also there. When we went to look, news started going around, particularly so on the internet, to say that two people they decided to come together to get on one ticket so that they would run against the president of Liberia in the voting that coming. These people first time they were together. But what happened when that happened, confusion came there and so they finished breaking apart. Then now Omer Joe Baka went to America, he was sick and he went to hospital. Then the news came from there and they started talking something that they said. Well, TSM decided to check whether the story was true or it was not true. And when TSM went to check the fact, everything was so, so lie. Omer Joe Bakai and Mr. Elizabeth Comey signed no paper for them to say, for them to come to say the coming to jump on one ticket. One more story here that we want to talk to you about. The president of Liberia, President George Weah, the other day in January, went to the lawmaker house to give a year-end report. The president can always do something like this here every year that what the big law both said they must do. And when he was reading his report, he said the Liberia office that can fall with corruption, they call LACC, and the other one that can check on government, how people spend government money, they call GAC, General Auditing Commission. He said the budget for 2023 he they want put money, more money inside for the for the two of it there, more than any other time that they will ever get money to do their work. But TSM went to check, find out that they see what the president talk, whether it was true. TSM found out that the president thing he talk is false or is not true. We had what is the reason that TSM gave? The LACC budget in 2012-2013, it was $9 million. 
nine million two hundred and forty four thousand two hundred and forty four thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars. In twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen budget it was two million seven hundred and one thousand six hundred and forty. In twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen it was two million six hundred and seventy eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. In twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen it was two million three hundred and eighty six thousand one hundred and sixteen dollars all the money in US. Then in twenty twenty three in the budget TSM want to check the the budget for the LACC two million three hundred and forty eight thousand six hundred and fifty two dollars. With this one here it is not true. In fact the LACC budget continue to drop every year. Here is another story that we check on. The story came out to say it came from the one newspaper they call the Front Page Africa. And then they pull it down to say that the lawmaker has what they call the legislature. A guy a page on the whole world, big page where they get on the internet, they call the website. And they want here it is working. People can put information there all the time. Well, one group that were talking about something that they said they call the Nemo and Partner. It is a civilian group. Pick up the report here and say this is what the lawmaker have said that they get they get their website well working for people to go there and put and read information. When TSM decided to check, they found out that this story was so so lie. The other story here we go back to the president when he was making a year end report to the lawmaker, he talked some things about the money matter in the country. The thing that can happen is at some time what they call the inflation. When the inflation is in the country, it is a time that the country money can lose some value and then things prices go up and there can be hardship. So the president said it will, and, and, that, and that this particular thing here, it will soon even come down to come down under 7%. TSM went to check and find out that, yes, the thing where the president thought to say that he fue, 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 and bring the inflation down, it is true. And here is another story that TSM want to talk to you about. The United Nations Hospital Office, they called WHO, a help in a big way in Liberia here when they sickness they call COVID-19 came. They brought injection, what they call vaccine. Then, after they gave the vaccine to people to fall with the COVID-19, the government now make a report and say, when they bring the vaccine, they, they won't give the higher number of people, they won't give them injection. But TSM went all around doing all the checking, taking the picture, even said taking picture on all the record for the WHO, and finally TSM find out that no, Liberia will never get the highest number of the vaccination that they gave to people. We move to another story that came up. The number two big person to the government learning house, what they call the Minister of Education, Mr. Latin Daton, the other day he said 1.4 million children, they the one that enter school in Liberia here all over the country. But TSM went to check and find out that that one is the, up, is the other way around. To 1.4 million children that they the one that, that, that are not in school. That's the fact. So when the minister say TSM find it all is lie. 1.4 million children are not in school. Rather, 1.4 million children they the one that drop out of school. That's what the minister was supposed to say. Then, again, news came up. They say the government of Liberia went and put money on the post, they put the data, data salary up in Liberia here, put it up from $700 US to $2,000. This news was going around, but then TSM decided to check. And when TSM went to check, they found out that 
But the road they still get and say, this the government now start to pay the doctors in, eh? pull their money up from $700 US to $2,000. TSM started checking all around. In fact, they went to the government house that can talk for the government of Liberia, the call Ministry of Information, and decided to talk to somebody who was in charge of news matter. They called Lawrence Formula. Lawrence Formula said, no, that particular document paper that you're talking about, TSM people, we are not the Ministry of Information put it together. So we don't know who really even put that particular document paper together. And so that other one, that other news story, a jelly letter, it is a lie. One more time, this particular thing here yeah, that the government put that us them money off from seven hundred and fifty and from seven hundred to two thousand dollars is a complete lie. It is not true. So this is all the report that we have here. We hope that this particular work that we do here so will help you to know the fact from the lies. Thank you for for hearing us. And we will be back here next time with other stories that, that you will hear that people will write that are going around and they, that, we, that we think that you need to know so that you will not be holding it, whether it's true or it's not true. My name is Seo Watosin. Thank you for listening.